Okay, technology is getting on my nerves. Okay, today has been super nerve wracking. Let's just say as the nicest way to put it right now as James had to work. So I had to go pick up the trencher because this weekend we are putting all of the plumbing pipes in the right spots. We need to trench the holes that the pipes go into um, for the kitchen, bathroom, upstairs bathroom. Now, you're not putting them in trenches up there, but we need to know locations of all of that, where the washing machine and dryer is. And then we also need the sewer pipes to be placed in the trenches so that on Tuesday, the plumbing inspector can come and say, yeah, you guys did a great job um, and approve it so that the cement can be poured. And so it was my job today, which I tell you, uh, since COVID, it has, that sure makes that head look big. Um, it's really not that big, um, but I just, I work so hard to not have sun damage on my skin. The last thing I want to do is have sun, sun damage on my skin. Um, and so what needed to happen is we needed to get the trencher. The trencher is on a trailer and you think, how hard can that be? Um, so lucky for me, all the people at the, um, the rental place hooked up the trencher onto the trailer and put it all on there and hooked it up to the car or the truck for me. And so here is what we're up to. And I can't figure out how to flip this thing around. Like technology is pissing me off. Um, this whole process has kind of just got me a little frazzled and that's putting it super nicely. I had to talk myself off the ledge a little bit. Um, I tell you, when you try something new and it scares you, it makes that cortisol kick in. It makes, um, it just, it, I tell you, it, I picked up this trencher on the trailer at 3.30. It's about 6.30 now. So what should have taken about an hour, an hour and a half maybe to get down here. Took a long time because this um, trencher on the back of the truck um, so it's there. I don't want to, like, yeah, it's all there. I don't want to really go to the back of the truck. Um, it can only go according to the directions. <laughs> and of course, um, my son is reading the directions, um, as we're driving. So typical, you do what you do when you do it. And the directions say you, the trailer needs to go about 45 miles per hour. That's the recommended speed. So you kind of plug away at 45, but you're going on an interstate and semis are passing and it starts to rain and the rain is going and it's just nerve wracking. So within a bit of time, we're at 55, 60 and the back of the trailer starts to bounce and it's bouncing and I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is going to bounce off the back. So I'm slowing down. The rain is coming down. I mean, it's just nerve wracking is all stinking get up. And the last thing I want to do is have the trencher go, oh, looks like in the midst of the bouncing, it looks like some of the gas might have bubbled out of the gas tank. Um, but it's nerve wracking. We've got a whole um, back of the truck is full of, you know, a wheelbarrow and a saw and wood and different things. And it's just nerve wracking. It's not what I like to do. And it's scary and it totally made my adrenaline just like poof kick into overdrive and I just don't like that feeling um so there are times during today's um drive that I actually had to talk talk myself off the ledge you're okay Em. you're okay we got this and so I think today's lesson is that just slow and steady I wanted to pull over when it was raining and just pull over and and call my husband. I know this can sound terrible, but I just wanted to pull over and go, where are you? So I could hop in my car and he could do this. But I didn't. I didn't. Um, I plugged through and I tell you, my adrenaline is still kicked in. Uh, it is still in high speed. But here are some good things about what's going on. Um, the... Yurt foundation. So I'm going to turn it around and I can't figure out why I can't like just turn it around, like press the button here and turn it around. I must have pressed something and I don't know what I pressed. And tonight 
is not the night for technology to be my, it's not what I'm gonna, it's, I tried three times, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. So here's where the yurt is. So I'm hoping I can get a good, had a good huge rain today, but our dirt guy, so this is the second footer holes that have been dug. Um, so the, this is the second set. So, or the second round, um, ah, dang it. As you can see the, um, hopefully, <laughs> um, you can see the foundation forms are in, um, and they are all the way around. And so the whole entire thing has got the footers ready to go at the right depth, at the right width, the cement foundation, um, forms are in and then our dirt guy was not going to let that rain do this twice to us and so of course it rained yesterday but he made like a berm so the rain would have to come down the driveway at such a speed that it would go over everything and if it did make it to here there's now a berm that would keep the water out um, and so the water will not create that moat that it did the last week um, and so he also dug in three different um divots so that if the rain does come the water would be diverted off to where it should go and to its path oh here comes your puppies she loves it down here so this is what we're looking at we are definitely ready um so this weekend we will lay out the entire formation of the rooms oh my gosh that view um, we will lay out the, form, the foundation of all the rooms so that we know where the mudroom is, the office, the bedrooms, the master bedroom, the bathroom, kitchen. And then where the bathroom is, of course, you need the plumbing for the shower, sink, and the toilet. And so when you get all that laid out, use the trencher to dig the holes um, to put the pipes in. Um, and so that is the plan. This is pretty exciting. Um, he definitely, definitely was not gonna let the water hop in this time around. And they even, to safeguard it. Ooh, puppy, wouldn't you love to have that kind of energy and jumping skill? Whoa, Stark. Um, so here is even if the water did get in this time, there is a safeguard that would pull the water right out because last time it pooled. Oh, mosquitoes. Um, it pooled. And so once it pooled, then it started to pull the sides of, watch all those nails there, um, or screws. Um, it pooled. And once it pooled, it then started to eat away. But now he, of course, worked a whole trenching system um, to cover our butts for the water and then that other hole over there is where the um, septic will be but we've got everything you can see all the bugs in Anderson I think you can't really see with my big old hat all right so that's the scoop let me look this way there's Anderson and the dog and she thinks this place is like her big puppy park. So she's pretty much, she's all in. That's the scoop. That's the plan for this weekend. It's, oops. <laughs> cool. Um, it's a plumbing kind of weekend. I'm ready. I'm ready to see this next piece come together as um, their yurt will be delivered here um, this month. Crazy, isn't it? So fun. Um, so that's the scoop. All right, all. Peace out.